Hey, what's going on guys from Johnny One, aka KRDK, coming at you with the Chiefs at Oakland, at the Raiders, whatever you want to call them, Vegas, I don't really give a damn. This is my post-game analysis of the game. This is going to be really quick and short. Chiefs win 40 to 10. I mean, not 40 to 10, I wish. 40 to 33. And Patrick Mahomes looked good as always. A couple of under throws to Hill, which, how the hell you consider overthrowing that? I ain't got a clue. But, um, a, you know, Kelsey, uh, Kelsey looked magnificent. The running game actually looked pretty good. Obviously, no Kareem Hunt because of, you know, those issues. The I actually was quite happy with with how the, the defense played okay. Second half was a lull, but you know, whatever. The Chiefs defense ultimately held when they had to. Really wish we could have gotten a bigger win on this. The refs seemed to want to give it to Oakland again on a no call offensive pass interference in the end zone. My only, and this is going to be a recurring trend with me and Andy Reid. You're at the five yard line, trying to kill some clock, and you insist on throwing it. I get it. Patrick Mahomes is the MVP this year, no doubt in my mind. He threw for 295 yards, another four touchdowns. I mean, it's another day at the office. And he made some throws that were beautiful. I get it. You have Patrick Mahomes, and he was your, your leading rusher. But you're trying to kill a clock. Don't throw this at the five. You've got Ware, who, who you know, a couple years ago was a fantastic running back. Almost 1,000 yards rushing. He was, like, I think, like, 3 or 17 yards, something like that way. Run it. Run the ball. Line up with Sherman. Run it. Kill clock. Because if, if the Chiefs hadn't scored on that drive and Oakland goes down, that would be what we're talking about. The Chiefs pass rush did come up huge. There was a weird pass interference call on Skandrick that I don't particularly agree with because it was just hand fighting all the way, but the ref's going to do what the ref's going to do. Luckily, you know, and, and no Eric Berry, he was uh, scheduled. He was questionable, was end up being inactive. Uh, you know, this was a good team win. These divisional games are always hard, especially against Oakland, because Oakland is begging for a win. They would love nothing more than to catch the Chiefs in a lull after the whole cream hunt situation a c- couple days ago. And, you know, and now the Raiders going to finish guaranteed. Well, they were going to end with a losing season regardless. Gruden is stuck here. Carr will likely be the quarterback next year. I wouldn't be surprised if they look early with all those draft picks. I don't think they go quarterback this year. Next year, however, I could see them doing that. But it, they've got a quarterback issue. Carr is okay. Their skill players are, the running backs are all right. You know, obviously the Chiefs defense gives up a ton of yards on the run. Oh, well. You know, they're, you know, and the secondary is playing pretty good. Obviously, Eric Berry hopefully will be back at home next week against the Ravens, a game I will in all likelihood miss because I'll be playing Santa at my work. But this was a good team win, a win that I really believe this showed the next era of the Kansas City Chiefs. I've seen the Chiefs in the past use these distractions and ultimately come out and suck it up. You know, the Raiders, the Chiefs didn't play perfect. The Raiders were looking for this win, but ultimately the better team prevailed in this. And looking at the playoff picture, the Chiefs should be with any luck. Hopefully, really though, the Chargers, you know, the Steelers and the Chargers have yet to play. Chargers lose. Chiefs are definitely in the front running. In all likelihood, the game Thursday night football at Arrowhead Stadium could end up being, which I actually have to see if what I believe I'm working that day. But yeah, well, I should be able to get off in time for that. I believe. So that could be that could very well 
be for the division. If the Steelers win, I believe the Chiefs would just need a win next week against the Ravens and for the Chargers to lose. Again, the Chiefs are in the driver's seat for the number one seed, although Houston and New England are right behind them. With New England having the tiebreaker, but the Chiefs' schedule, the Chargers aren't beating the Chiefs at home. I'm sorry. Thursday night football is a crapshoot. I could the Ravens. I don't think will probably. I don't think the Ravens will win next week. But that remains to be seen. Lamar Jackson, you know, his elusiveness. But whatever. So overall, this was a good team win. I'm hoping that the Chiefs come out next week and play hard, beat the Ravens. In all likelihood, though, the Chiefs are definitely in the front rank for a playoff berth next week. So this could be extremely fun. I believe if the Chargers lose, the Chiefs would just have to win in a Chargers loss next week. And in that division, it, the division is almost pretty much locked up. So yeah, hopefully I'll, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little, this small little recap. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you also check out arrowheadguys.com. Link will be in the description below. But hey, what do I know? I'm only an Arrowhead guy. You guys take care and have a great rest of your day. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.